All right, Democrats are making some tough choices about their massive social spending plan in order to satisfy key moderates in the Senate to slash the top line costs from 3.5 trillion to between 1.5 to 2 trillion they've had to abandon several of president biden's campaign promises such as providing free community college and programs that were initially going to be made permanent will now be set to expire in a year or two the expanded child tax credit and the expansion of medicaid what else has changed we'll join me now to talk about the latest from capitol hill and the president's build government bigger plan is daily callers congressional reporter michael ginsburg michael welcome to washington watch hi thanks for having me on tony um and you're, you're absolutely right about uh the tough choices that democrats are having to make i think that uh one thing that we're going to be looking at is um you know their green uh green new deal style provisions that um you know, members of the squad that Bernie Sanders, all um, all these more left wing members of the party have really been pushing. Um, this is stuff that uh, concerns, obviously, uh, Man Joe Manchin, as um, as I believe you mentioned. Obviously, uh, Manchin represents West Virginia, uh, a coal heavy coal mining state. Uh, coal is the a uh, key part of their economy. Um, he uh, has convinced them to uh, remove uh, a provision that would. Um, basically subsidize green energy companies and uh and penalize carbon carbon uh producing car co companies that use carbon uh energy excuse excuse me um and this is something that really would be devastating to his state's economy um this morning he uh, he got into a fight with or or an exchange of words with a with a climate activist um and he told the activists that you know if you want to look at uh climate provisions the the united states has uh decreased its carbon emissions over the last decade plus or so and that you know um if if you want to look at this sort of thing look look to uh the east uh east asia look at china look at india say singapore vietnam all these um all these emerging economies because that's where uh carbon emissions come from so, Manchin's exactly right about that. So, Michael, I would think that this is a real sticking point because for the progressives, this is like the crown jewel uh, is, is climate change and their ability to eradicate fossil fuel. And as you pointed out, uh, Senator Manchin, being from West Virginia, is not about to uh, sell his constituents uh, in the coal state down the river. So how did they get by this impasse? Yeah, so they're they're still negotiating on this um Sen senator cinema who as we also know has uh, expressed some concerns about uh raising money uh propose uh, to pay for this proposed a carbon tax um that that was not okay with senator mansion so you know we're still watching this um president biden goes to the glasgow climate con conference uh later this week and he has said you know i want to be able to bring bring this up for a deal um to show that you know the united states is uh, serious about uh about addressing uh climate change and global warming all the all these sorts of things that you know he he did run on but th this is a stickler for democrats that obviously they can't they can't lose any votes on this um if if Manchin gets his way uh, with um, with these provisions, uh, left wing members of the House certainly won't vote for it. Uh, Manchin did express uh, some optimism earlier today um, in a meeting uh, or in a conference earlier today. He said that he does believe that um, this this will be passed by Wednesday night. Uh, but uh, you, you know, I. I would I would be surprised um, if this if this does um, if, if this does get done, and you know they they're negotiating really heavily, but that that would that would definitely surprise me if they get all of this yeah, done by tomorrow. Yeah, we, we didn't we didn't even touch upon the, the how they're going to pay for it because there's a disagreement over who to tax uh, in the plan now. Uh, Michael, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, appreciate you uh, giving us the latest from Capitol Hill on this uh, budget reconciliation bill that's going to be a whopper if they ever get it across. All right. Thanks for having me on, Tony. All right. Thank you. Mike.